Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because we are, as you can see by the title, going to be getting a new member of our family. I have been wanting a dog since I got my first apartment three years ago. I actually settled on getting our cat Wilbur from the shelter instead because I was looking at dogs and ended up talking myself out of it because we didn't have a backyard at the time and so it just didn't make as much sense. But now I've been settled in at my new house for the past year now and I feel like I'm in a stable enough situation where I can take care of a dog plus we live very active lifestyles we go on a lot of hikes and nature walks and we live near a lot of really great trails and I'm home 24 7 because I work from home and I just feel like now is the time so I have been seriously looking for a dog for the past month but I've always really been looking for a dog probably for the last year I've still been visiting the shelters and keeping an eye out for like the right fit for our family and we finally found someone who's looking for a new home for their puppy and I'm going to share with you guys more about that later when we actually see the dog but the kids have no idea. Um, we did not tell Fievel or Stella that we're going to be going to potentially get a puppy just so their hopes don't get up if like this doesn't work out or there's like something wrong with the dog or anything like that. So they don't know yet and I'm really excited to share with them because Fievel has been begging for a dog so uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and hopefully we can all go meet our new baby all right we're waiting for Fievel and Zach to get home and Stella I wanted to tell you first no. we're gonna go get a puppy a puppy yeah do you want to go get a puppy yeah are you excited yeah a puppy dog and a cat no we already have a cat we're gonna get a puppy Wow! How exciting! My puppy is named Bingo. That might not be named Bingo. We're gonna figure out what we name it, okay? Mm. Okay. Okay. I want you all to meet Daisy. She's so cute. She's huge for a puppy. Daisy. Look at her. Daisy. Come on, little puppy. Come on. Run, Fievel. Daisy. Oh. Daisy. Daisy. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. I have wet hair because I just took a shower, but I am out here with Stella and Daisy is over here getting into trouble somewhere. Daisy. Her first night here went really great. Potty training has been going really, really well. Um, the boys just ran an errand this morning and they'll be back later. But potty training's been going well and she's just been a very well behaved big girl. Excuse me, I just said you were being really well behaved. Daisy is a three month old cane corso, so she's gonna be absolutely massive. Right now she is a gentle giant puppy, but she's gonna be like 120 pounds. And we got Daisy from a woman who was going through a divorce and she's moving, and so she wanted to rehome what was her ex-husband's puppy. So kind of a bad situation turned into a good situation for us and now she is our forever baby. We're so happy to have her. Tonight we're actually gonna take her to a vineyard that allows dogs because the kids are going to their dad's house and it's really good to socialize. Good girl, Daisy! It's really good to socialize big dogs when they are little so that way they aren't a menace when they're massive. But look at her, she is so sweet and we love her so much. Look how big her feet are. She's gonna be so big. Okay, so earlier I said that we were gonna take the dog to a vineyard 
And then I looked it up online and the vineyard doesn't let dogs in. It lets service animals in. That's what they said on the website. But we are gonna go to Miss Lucille's Marketplace, which is one of my favorite stores, and they let dogs in. And they even have a booth that sells dog stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna try not to go crazy on the dog mom gear, but no like now is my time. Yeah. So we're gonna go there and walk the doggy around and then we're gonna get dinner and it's gonna be nice. Have a little date night. Date night. As if every night's not date night. What, we need to work on that. <laughs> Zach is going into the Indian restaurant to pick up dinner. Which means me and the puppy are alone in the car for a minute. And I want to show you guys what we picked out at Miss Lucille's. So first the puppy has a puppy Kong. So we got puppy Kong treat fillers. We got this little puppy chew stick that we already snapped in half because we were using it to bribe her to walk nicely on the leash. She's not bad at walking. She's just really, really nervous, and so, I mean, obviously, she's like three months old, so it takes her, she's just like learning, you know? I'm trying to do this quick because there's people walking all over this parking lot. Goo Goo Clusters, because Zach has never tried one before. And then we got an assortment of these little, what are they called? Wax melts. So this one's Raspberry, raspberry Lemonade. You guys have seen me buy those before. They also had a local farm had strawberry syrup for sale on a table. Only six bucks for this huge thing of strawberry syrup. And then I didn't need this, but puppy accessories are like my number one priority right now. And so I got this made out of a vintage fabric from a shop called Very Vintage. And this is just so cute. And I already bought her a second collar that's green with like yellow daisies on it because her name is Daisy and I thought that it would match this leash really well. So now she has two leashes and two collars and that's probably all she needs, but we love her so much. She's sleeping in the back seat right now. She's just a perfect angel. People were petting her and she was being so sweet. She didn't bark at a single thing. She didn't like walk into the display. She wasn't tripping us with the leash, like perfect little angel. Yeah, I'm moving you up to real news. Okay, it is the next day and we have picked up the kids this morning. I just wanted to answer one more question before I end this video or just like one question that I keep seeing on Instagram after I posted that we got Daisy and that is how does Wilbur like the dog and he is very much uninterested and very relaxed and just really does not care whatsoever. The dog is over here in her bed. We have another bed coming for her I think tomorrow but like, they really just ignore each other's existence for the most part. But that is everything I have for today's video. I will see you guys really, really soon with more puppy vlogs because I wanna film her as much as possible before she is a ginormous beast. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.